Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Nick from Big Bear Weather and More headquarters. The weather is currently looking good to go. Check your website, BigBearWeatherAndMore.com. We ready to go live? Check. Products are ready to be shipped to customers. Rachel, honey, are you ready? Ready to launch. Okay, launch countdown begins in five. <laughs> you see him both right now. That's unreal. What's up, guys? Okay, so happy Thanksgiving. I hope you loved our launch video right there. How amazing is that? By the way, for the first week, as of now, for a whole week, we're offering a Black Friday deal of 15% off, and your code for the for the discount will be turkey and the number 15 t-u-r-k-e-y and the number 15 awesome awesome so once again happy thanksgiving guys thank you for all the support all all the love in the world um we we are very very lucky people to have you guys in our lives you've had a humongous impact on everything about me changed so many things about me i've become a more patient person in life because of you guys um, my driving's gotten a lot better because of the constructive criticism from you guys. So, um, and over my head real quick, I hope we get that type of snow again. That's one of my videos from last year when we had like four or five feet of snow, but yeah, so thank you. I love you very much. And I'm going to pass it to my beautiful wife. Yeah. And like Nick said, thank you guys. We're all so grateful that we have you with us today. Happy Thanksgiving. And, um, again, take this time to you know, be with your family and be uh, memorable about the things that you are thankful for. And just always thank you for watching. Right on, babe. And happy Thanksgiving again. <laughs> and my mom. Hi. Happy Thanksgiving. I am so happy to be here with my family and especially this particular son. I have watched his growth with this channel. I have seen how devoted he is to all of you out there. I mean, rain, sleet, snow, it wouldn't make any difference. He's there like the U.S. Postal Service. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he has grown and his life has changed for the better. He met Rachel. He got married. So many wonderful things have happened. And you have all been there to watch this growth and development. And from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for your support. And guess what? <laughs> There's a lot of wonderful stuff out there, so make sure that you're a big bear, weather and more, wearer of some kind of clothes, <laughs> a big bear, weather and more. Have a great, happy Thanksgiving. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Rachel. And obviously, we have Luna and Theo. I'm going to grab Pimp real quick, my, my little baby. Hang on. He's a big baby. He, yeah, he's a big baby. <laughs> Here comes the turkey. <laughs> <laughs> this is my boy this is my best friend in the whole wide world say hi pimp hello hey there hello let's get just a, little, a little close up that's my baby right there so uh yeah guys we love you guys once again happy thanksgiving and i hope you enjoy our little thanksgiving walk through the village right now and we will talk to you later once again 15 percent off type in turkey 15 uh where it it says if you have a discount or promo code, you'll figure out what line you're supposed to type that in. But it's for a whole week starting today. Congratulations to all of us. This is great. Peace out, guys. Love y'all. All right, guys. I really hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed that a lot. The, the uh, launch video. That was awesome, wasn't it? I really hope you guys loved it. So, yeah, the merchandise is live. Hope you guys go get a bunch of it. We're going to do a stroll through the village for Thanksgiving. Here's my beautiful bride. Hey guys. <laughs> it's Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. It is Thanksgiving. It's a warm It's really Thursday warm huh? morning. It is really warm. And guys, I'm telling you what, so tomorrow we'll be doing a video, hopefully for the Christmas tree lighting, and that's gonna be an evening time video. Because this village looks incredible right now at nighttime. All the Christmas lights and Christmas decorations. It looks beautiful, so I'm looking forward to getting that, getting that that video in because it really is, really is gorgeous. 
Yeah, and I'm going to say that the anticipation of waiting for the snow is actually making me a little more excited for the snow. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, that's a miracle. <laughs> it really is. Just a little. Because, uh, yeah, that yes, is... I really think I'm adapting because the past few times I've gone to work in the morning, it's been like... 25 to 30 degrees and usually I'm like a st stiff body walking to my car but lately I've been doing pretty well yeah it, it's, I don't it's, even feel it it's been ridiculously warm the past two days right well like the past few times that it was really cold is what I'm talking about in the morning when I went to work I felt okay with it It is. They have one of the grocery stores closed. Really? Yeah. Which one? Um, Staters? Or Vaughn's? Yeah, I think it was Staters. I'm not sure. I just know one's closed. And then Walgreens was closed. So. Well, good. I remember. Good for you, Walgreens workers, that you yeah, get to enjoy totally. your Thanksgiving day. When I was a kid, most everything was closed on Thanksgiving except for like McDonald's and and that was only some McDonald's <laughs> it's funny when I was little I used to think that the stores were going to be closed because it was my birthday <laughs> I thought it was a holiday <laughs> <laughs> that's funny babe that's cute they should close for your birthday though <laughs> why so you don't have to take me anywhere <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. I know. <laughs> I'm gonna pitch that to all these all these shops. Close on uh, May 15th, <laughs> please, so I can save a few bucks. <laughs> it's a good way to save a few bucks with your kids. Just convince them that it's a holiday and they can't do anything. That's horrible parenting, babe. <laughs> <laughs> that is horrible. What? My mom played along. She was like, "Yep, all the stores are closed." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she didn't. <laughs> I don't know if if you guys can can tell, but uh, all the uh, all these trees, for the most part, have lights in them. And as I said, this place looks just magnificent at nighttime right now. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, I can't wait till you guys get to see this all lit up it's so beautiful it guys yeah, i it, feel like they added extra lights this year i do too i do too so we are very very grateful for that because this is our little heaven amidst heaven careful Oh man. What are you? What are you doing? Walking? Oh. What what do you want me to do? You're like standing. No, I wasn't. I oh. was walking. Just walking slow. I wish I could eat at this restaurant again, the Himalayan. Mm. But because of my illness, I can't really be dealing with the extra spicy stuff. That's a really, really good Indian food restaurant, you guys. There's another one over here called uh, Masala Craft, which is really, really good too. Really, really good. Hang on a sec. All right, guys, we do, we're gonna turn right here, but right here is where the, the Christmas tree lighting is. This tree right here. At least usually it's this tree. So it's supposed to happen tomorrow. It's on the corner of Village Drive and Pine Knot. So, all right, baby, let's go cruise. We're just gonna go a little bit further down and then when we get to the hotel, we will turn walk back on Big Bear Boulevard. Yes, so that's the tree that we're going to see get lit tomorrow. That's right? right. Yep, that's what I just told them. Yeah. Let's 
All right, guys, so sorry about that. I had to take a phone call. Here's Masala Craft. That's the other Indian food restaurant in, in the neighborhood here, in the, in the village. Such good places to eat, both of them. They are, they are. I mean, for, <laughs> for and for not having <laughs> options, yeah. Hang on a sec, one, one more okay. time. The village sweatshop, <laughs> sweet shop. I know it was meant to be a joke, babe. <laughs> you are, you are. I am just learning how to read right now, right now. Yeah, but people want to like hear and feel the atmosphere out here. Right, guys? Just that part. But. It, I, I don't think it, it's going to be just that part. They're going to be playing Christmas music throughout the whole, the whole village. And then while we're waiting for the Christmas tree lighting, um, they'll, they'll probably have a, a bunch of speakers right there. Huh? It'll what? It'll what, babe? That's Oakside, by the way, you guys. One of the nicer restaurants around here. A little bit on the medium to pricey side, but worth it. Really worth it. And uh, as I've told you guys a million times, this place over here to the left, that is, I, I think it's its my wife's also, mine and her favorite place because of the high-end nature of it. I think this is the nicest spot they offer in, in Big Bear. So this is as close as you'll get to a to a five-star hotel in the Big Bear area. We have a video of, of it. It's called Blue Green Resorts. Um, what's what's the company called? Well, it, it, it's, if, if you go to my uh, playlist under lodging, you'll find this place. And we stayed in their three-bedroom. It's really beautiful. It really is. We even got a, a nice tour of their presidential suites which are on the third floor up there they're it's the whole whole building actually you walk up stairs from the bottom and the it's the whole entire building it's huge i think it's five bedroom and then if you guys wanted to see what this place looks like inside i stayed in the biggest room they have to offer here um maybe three seasons ago again this is all in the lodging the lodging playlist. This place is called The Lodge at Big Bear Lake. As a matter of fact, that's where we're going to be uh, walking through to leave. But yeah, guys, this is gonna be, it. okay, so yeah. It's uh, Blue Green Resorts, the club at Big Bear Lake. That is what that place is called. At Big Bear Village. At Big Bear Village. And, uh, yeah, again, that's my favorite place to stay up here. Bless you, babe. Bless you, bless you. This place. They've got a nice pool, jacuzzi. Um, it's just, as I said, it's it's just very classy. For those of you who are looking for a little bit kind of nicer amenities. As far as I know from my personal experience up here, you guys. Um, <clears throat> There's not really much option for uh, for for the for the nicer stuff like the Ritz Carlton's or W's and stuff like that. We don't we don't offer that, which is kind of a bummer because I think we should try to cater to to everyone's needs and wants. I guess that's never a need to stay at the Ritz Carlton, if you know what I mean. But um, if I ever get into politics up here, which I've I've really wanted to to help support our town and make the make it so much better for all the tourists up here and um, I would definitely want to implement something nicer like a five-star resort or maybe just a four-star resort I think the blue green that club at Big Bear Village is a four-star but I would really like to do um, a super high-end place because I know there's there are people who would want 
to stay there and be completely pampered. Do you know, babe, if we have have any places up here that have like a, a spa as part of the hotel? I know the Best Western offers spa services, but it, it's because the spa is right across the street, so they send everyone there. But there's like really nothing up here, right? I'm not sure. You're not sure? No. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm not 100% sure either, guys. But I am pretty sure that there is nothing like that. And again, it shocks me because we do live not far from LA and Orange County and San Bernardino, and there's a lot of people who want to spend a few extra dollars and uh, enjoy their vacation in the true lap of luxury. And we just don't have that. Unless you get some of the Airbnbs, which some of the really, really nice ones, you'll pay thousands a night. Right, baby? Like yeah. thousands per night. So, some of the not so nicer yeah, no, guys, totally At least a don't forget that. Yeah, yeah, some, some of them just jack you. And the crazy thing is, when you're trying to rent, let's say you go on to Expedia.com and you're trying to rent a place, um, like a hotel, once you scroll through all these hotels and you don't find something that you like, then a lot of the Airbnb properties will pop up. And it's crazy because, let's say there's a place for 200 bucks per night and you wanted to stay for two nights so that'd be 400 bucks you would assume with tax and stuff like that it'd be like yeah i saw like 450 bucks right well when it comes to the airbnbs up here that 400 dollars for the two nights turns into like 800 dollars. they just absolutely crush you when it comes to housekeeping prices and um just everything they really get you so this street right here you guys kind of behind the village a little bit it's called beaver lane we're gonna take beaver lane back down here it's a nice peaceful walk a thanksgiving day walk This is another hotel that we haven't stayed at, but we need to, to, to put it on the playlist. So you guys can see what this place is all about. Why am I forgetting the name of it? I see it on my Expedia all the time, but I can't remember the name of it. Do you remember the name of it, babe? Yeah, definitely guys happy thanksgiving or turkey day or however you celebrate it today day i celebrate it as what it is thanksgiving and gobble gobble day <laughs> gobble gobble day um we're actually gonna not be doing a home cooked thanksgiving which is a bit bit of a bummer because my, my mom's with me and i always want her to have the very best of the best and she's never really gone, I don't think, without a real Thanksgiving dinner. So, unfortunately, because I don't have the space for us to make like a Thanksgiving well, feast. I could have made a Thanksgiving dinner. Since I don't have the space to make a Thanksgiving feast, we're going to be going down to uh, a restaurant down the mountain. We have a six o'clock dinner reservation, so I'm going to be able to treat my mom and that makes me super happy she's spending it thanksgiving with me instead of my six other siblings that makes me really happy but yeah i'm definitely disappointed that i didn't you know find a way to do the home cooked thing for her but i know she's just happy just to spend spend time with me so that's huh? All right. 
So we're gonna be coming up on this street right up here. What is it called? Bartlett. Bartlett's another street you can take to get into the village. And here's the horses for uh, for the uh, horse and carriage rides in the village. Sweet, sweet, sweet. We're coming up to one of my favorite hotels in the village. And guys, be very careful walking around up here. People speed like crazy. So just, just be extra cautious, especially when we have snow and ice on the ground. You'd be shocked how fast a lot of people drive and not even knowing how to drive on the snow and ice. So just always be very vigilant. Keep your eyes open always. But yeah, we're coming up to one of my favorite hotels in town. Again, I've got this place on, on the playlist. We've stayed in one of their nicer, larger rooms as well. It's a two-story room, actually. And it's you enter on the second floor of the building, and then it's got a spiral staircase inside going up to a big loft with a, a full bathroom. Shower, bathtub, toilet. But yeah, so this brown building right here and the one just beyond, that's Robin Hood Resort. And then they have a building on the other side of the street. I'll show you guys in a moment. But yeah, this is where I used to stay before I moved up here. And after my, my mom uh, lost her place in Lake Arrowhead when I was back in 95. So. A long time ago, I started coming up and staying here at the Robin Hood Resort. And I just think I love it because of all the nostalgia that it brings with it. It's really a, a cute little place for sure. And then there's Pine Knot, that street over there. That's the main village drive. That's that, that, that's what we... we walked up when we started the video. That sign says Naughty Potty on that, that little shack, Naughty Potty. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what that is, but it doesn't, it, it doesn't sound good. So the room that Rachel and I stayed in here at Robin Hood Resort was in this building over here. It's the room on the very end up, up top right there and it's a two-story room they have a spa inside it's really awesome so again I've got a video of this place as well that specific room um, we are gonna go stay in a regular room here and make another video for you guys because again I've always felt very comfortable here the ownership's awesome and uh, I think you guys would really like it and they do have a pretty good good restaurant, right, babe? Nottingham's. Nottingham's restaurant. I've had a really great burger over here. But yeah, guys, we're getting back down here to the boulevard, so I think we're gonna say goodbye and happy Thanksgiving to you all. But uh, thank you for everything, you guys. Seriously, thank you for everything. Go out, get, get your merchandise for Christmas. We're offering um, a Black Friday discount um, uh, of up to 15% off the entire store. And the Black Friday discount is going to last for a whole week. So enjoy it. Um, I, I love you guys a lot. Thank you for all the support over all these years. Um, yeah, thank you guys. And uh, we'll chat with you guys later. Bye, you guys. Happy Thanksgiving.